Rava El Yashiv is one of the special people that I met between all the rabbis in all over the world. And I met hundreds of rabbis. First of all, he knew all the Torah by heart, but I'm speaking Torah with all the smallest letters in every book that you can find. And sometimes you jump, you don't want to read the small letters. He knew by heart everything. And if you asked him something, and he said the mutar also you allow it's forbidden. If you want to check him, why you asked me? You, you, you answered me. So he said, look in the Ran Psochim Nun Amud Beis, and you will have the answer. So he, when he uh, answered you, he saw the Rishonim in in front of him. And then so he, he started learning at the age of three. And since then, he was in front of the book. Always. He learned, and his system was to learn alone. And the, always with the melodic. I came once to his house. It was in Purim to bring him Mishlachmones. And uh, he, uh, he came to his daughter in Bait Vagan. So his daughter had only two rooms. One room was the living room, and one room was the bedroom. So he sat n uh, near the bedroom, inside, with a small uh, table, and he continued to learn Torah. In the other room, Purim, all the kids, the grandchildren, and all the families, and all, so many guests came to this, uh, to, 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 uh, to, set, to be part of the party of Purim. And you hear in the other room the melody of the le to learning Torah as he was in another world. And I'm speaking about Purim. Uh, he was a, a rabbi. First of all, he was a dayan in the high court of religious court in Jerusalem that belonged to the chief rabbinate. He was one of the people who uh, saw Rabbi Cook that created the, the chief rabbinate he, as his rabbi. He, he did it, he's a shidduch with the daughter of Rabbi Ayah Levin that was very close to Rav Kook, and he gave him the, he was a Mesad of to the Rav El Yoshiv. So you're saying that the person, the rabbi who's the leader of the Haredi ultra-Orthodox sector was actually so close to the leader, the beginner of national religion? Exactly. He was very mixed. He, for him, he told me sometimes, it's, for me, it's not different which best medrash you learned. For me, I need to know if this person is a Talmud Chochem, Yerei Hashem, a right man, and he has the right Ashkofes. He can be a Dayan or a Rabbi. It's not different. The same, the same Torah, he didn't involve politics at all. And uh, he was very, very straight man. If he found you some, sometimes that you go to right or the left and don't tell him the truth, he will not meet you more. And uh, he, he knew the reality so clever. He sat in the, in the high court in the Beit Nagodl in Jerusalem, and people said, the Yonim that sat with him, that even he was, he was in minority. And, uh, but two years, three years, five years later, they saw the, na the, the reality that he was right. Because he saw some years uh, in, in the future as he is sitting now with this uh, situation. And I understand that although he was only with the books, the ancient books, we see Psakim, his answers in Halacha about computers, about technology. How, how did that happen? Even if he is uh, 102 years old, if you will ask him about the system, how the iPhone or the computer works, can be that he will not understand. But if you ask him about a subject that, uh, connected to the modern technology, he will uh, check with someone that is professional, tell me the system, and according the answer of this professional man, he will answer you what uh, is the result from uh, in the eyes a point of view of the halacha, but uh, always he was involved in very, very new, modern uh, technology that we develop every year, new things, and he was asked and he answered. 
one of a kind? One of a kind, yeah, because it's not so... First of all, you have to see such a modest man, a quiet man, only two rooms in his house, very old house. Very... So many people wanted to support him, to give him a new house and to build him a villa or something like that. Ah, for him it's nothing. Give him only the book and this is, was all his world. And uh, the same house, more than a hundred years, he, he lived in the same place, in the same address. He didn't change nothing. The walls were covered with uh, books and every place that you could be able to put a book, you find there. He lived in very, very simple uh, life. Give him a cup of tea, a small bread, and the Gemore, uh, Rambam, Shulchan Aruch, that's all. But I explained that he had the difficulties now because he lost his good uh, eyes because he, he couldn't be able in the last uh, months to read. Even people uh, gave him uh, big letters of Gemara, uh, but it, it, it helped not him, and he, he started to learn with the Chavruse, and he didn't feel so comfortable. And for him, we knew the, fir the first time that he will not be connected to the Gemara, it will be this, the main problem in his life.